Hey everyone, it's Alice. Welcome back to another GRE video. In today's video, we're going to talk about how you can identify patterns in quant questions and how that can help you solve the actual questions themselves. Now, if you're new here, I got a 170 on my quant section and I'll put a video on all of my best tips over here. But if you're interested, I'm offering private tutoring with all the information and links in the description and pinned comment down below. So let's get started. One of the questions that I actually got on my GRE was this one. So it says, what is the last digit of three to the 100th power? Now, I have to admit when I read this, I was totally floored and I had no idea how to do this at all. I was a little worried because I knew I'd done well, and if I answer this incorrectly, it would probably lead to a less than perfect score. Luckily, after a few moments, I realized that this is actually the case of a pattern. This number obviously is way too big to be calculated in a regular calculator. Even if you try to type it into Google, you'll get the first few digits and then nothing else after that. But what you can do is start to write out some of the numbers that you know or use the calculator to determine them. For this, you have 3 followed by 3 times 3, which is 9, times 3, 27, times 3, 81, and so on and so on. And what you can see as you do this and as you write these numbers down is that we have a pattern with the last digit. It goes from 3 to 9 to 7 to 1, and then the whole pattern repeats itself again. And we have again 3, 9, 7, and 1. So what we know from this is that we have a pattern and that the pattern consists of four units. So if we're going to raise 3 to the 100th power, we know that this pattern is going to be fit into that pattern 25 times flat, a perfect 25 times. That means that the last digit is going to be the last number in our pattern, and in this case, that's going to be 1. Now, unless you have a super powerful calculator, you're not going to be able to confirm this. But once you get the pattern, you should get the solution. Hopefully that makes a little bit of sense. And this next example, I think, will help you out even more. This is another question that is very, very similar. Which of the following could be the units digit of 57 to the nth power? where n is a positive integer. Here, of course, the first thing you should know is that the units digit is the ones digit. So we're looking at the same digit that we were in the previous question. If you know how to look at patterns, we're going to do exactly the same thing. We're going to write out the first few numbers in this sequence and see if we can spot one. So with 57 to the nth power, we have huge numbers, but here they are. We have 57, squared is 3,249, cubed 185, 193, and then the numbers get way too big for me to read them. But as you can see, we start to see a pattern as well. And in this case, it's 7, 9, 3, 1, and then again, 7, 9, 3, 1. And in the ones digit, that just repeats itself over and over. And what we can do here is know that any number that results from taking 57 to some power is going to have a ones digit of 7, 9, 3, or 1. For this question, those would be the four answers, and you should find an answer choice that has all four of those options. Now, if we had a question where we said 57 to the 100th power, we could just do exactly what we did with the previous question and see how many times 100 fits into our four digit pattern, which is a flat 25 times. And again, 57 to the 100th power is going to end in a one. Hopefully that makes sense. Please leave a comment down below if you have any questions or if I can be of help for any other concepts. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my videos. That helps me out a lot. And if you're interested in any kind of private tutoring, please let me know with the contact information down below. Thank you so much. I'll see you again next time.
Bye.